<laughs> I, I was like looking at it as a serious film, right? <laughs> okay, can I ask you a first question? Because of you course. guys bought the property combining the VA entitlement. So I would like you to express that to other people that doesn't know how to do it. Yeah, so, so he has other houses via VA loans. So he didn't have the entitlement coverage to cover the price of this property. And we are very close friends, practically family. Um, we grew up together, so we're very comfortable with each other. And since I have my full VA entitlement allowed to me, we decided to go half and half on this house. In the VA, they'll split the loan literally in half um, for entitlement purposes, and each one will take half of the entitlement, um, even though you're both still responsible for the full amount of it. That's good. Uh, Brandon, you're um, purchasing this property second time using the VA. Any recommendations that you purchasing the second time, the first time, especially for the first time home buyer using VA, what are the things that you need to kind of prepare? Um, if you use it the second time, I highly recommend doing a refinance to a conventional loan to free up more of the entitlement. Um, I personally didn't do that, so I have entitlement for both properties. Uh, I recommend doing that. But other than that, it's still a good idea. Use your full entitlement because it's there for you to use, so don't be afraid to use it. Definitely. Okay, in terms of like the lender side, like uh, providing the documents and all of that, any recommendations in terms of like preparing themselves? Uh, not really, as long as, as long as you guys like keep records of everything that you've done over the years. That'd probably be the best way because all they're gonna do is ask for tax documents. I mean, everybody should have their tax documents readily available. Um, previous and, addresses, yeah, previous addresses, stuff like that, and stuff that, like, if people come from move from the barracks to out in town and they buy their own property for the first time, I mean, their their <laughs> their barracks is their last their last address, so it's pretty easy to remember where where all the barracks is you lived. But if you've owned, you know, if you lived on base and then moved downtown. Uh, definitely keep account of all the places that you've lived. But. Recommendations on the young generations, like the OD, like you, that is afraid of using the VA entitlement. Do it. Do it. Do 100%. It. The military is giving you free, tax-free dollars, um, and you can essentially buy a house with that. So um, definitely look for a place that the market is you know, in the upward trend. That way you have a good exit strategy in terms of selling mm -hmm. um, after you leave if the rent is not up to par with uh, your loan amount. That way you can sell and still be profitable. Um, a personal goal of mine is to own a house in every duty station as far as, as long as I'm in, and then we'll go from there. And then another great thing with the VA loan is you can always do a 1031 exchange out of it at the end, um, which will help when it comes to taxes. You won't have to take taxes on the prof profits until, because you can roll them over into a new house wherever you go next. So. But I mean, you, you all serve your country one way or another. Might as well own part of the country that you serve. So that's always that's always how I look at it. I, and I own land that now I serve this country, and I can say that I own part of it. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah.